worship your name for you are Yahweh. Your grace has lifted me higher. You are Yahweh. I will worship your name for you are Yahweh. Oh my God, your grace has lifted me higher. You are Yahweh. Your grace has lifted me higher. You are your way. I will worship you. I will worship your name. You are your way. Your grace has Hello viewers. You are welcome to the channel. This is Ristu Farms Aquaponics, the heart of perfect farming. So, today I'll be taking a lecture on um, brooding. If you're into poultry farming, I'll be taking a lecture today on brooding. And um, I will say it is um, the first step to do or simple techniques. In achieving a perfect and stress-free brooding before or when you have what bring your beds so some people always get it wrong they don't know what actually to do the moment their bed arrive or before bringing those day old chicks so this morning I would like um, to throw a small light on it on what you can actually do to achieve your hundred percent brooding so i won't waste much of your time i will just go straight um into the topic properly so number one proper disinfection if you're bringing in your day old chicks at least three days before the day you bring them you have to do what they call proper disinfection whether you are an organic farmer or an inorganic farmer. Now, some people get it wrong. They'll say, because I'm into organic farming, I cannot use the simple disinfectant we have in the market, which is the Isal, the Dito, the Hypo, and the likes of them. Now, you using those things doesn't make your bed inorganic or makes your bed organic or makes your bed inorganic. Now, if you're into an organic farming, those things you're using to sterilize or disinfect your pen, they are not what the birds will eat. Moreover, you're supposed to give at least 24 hours to 72 hours gap after you disinfect so that those birds coming in wouldn't have any, um, like some of them picking or taking anything that has to do with those things. At least you air the place. Because if you don't give 24 to 72 hours gap, the smell of those things will even choke the beds and it will result into you having mortalities into your farm. So the first thing you do before you even bring your day old chicks is to what? Properly disinfect. If you're using the deep litter system, you wash, you scrub, you have your backpack, your knapsack, you spray from the roof level to the ceiling and everywhere. You spray every crumbs and crumbs. You make sure you spray everywhere. Then you open up and air the place so that it will what dry and um, the smell of those um detergent and um, disinfectant to use what will go away so this is the basic thing to do first you disinfect your pen then after disinfecting your pen now you can as well if you are using your deep litter system bring your wood shavings and I will still advise you, before you put in your wood shavings, you must sterilize it properly. Because most of those wood shavings has already been contaminated from maybe the sawmill or from where the process of bringing them down into your farm. And you cannot have a tight biosecurity when you're bringing in the wood shavings that are already infected. Mind you, those day old chicks, 
they are immune they don't have any antibodies when they comes to your farm the only thing that sustains them is the protein in the egg yolk that is why you can see your day old chicks stay for three days without eating nor drinking but the moment they pick anything into their body system like feed material or they drink water then that um that um protein that antibody they got from that egg has already been what disactivated now you are the one to cut out for them from day old see they leave your pen so you are the one to boost their immune because they don't have they have zero immune so when you bring a wood shaving that is contaminated into your pen now when those day old chicks come they are good pickers chickens are good scratchers they scratch and they pick so whatsoever they pick from that day old lives in their body system for the rest of their life that is why when you battle with cosidoesis it is very difficult for you and once a bird has contacted cosidoesis it lives with them for the rest of their life so that will be another lecture for another day so you have to properly sterilize or even let me use the word disinfect those wood shavings in the next video i will teach you how you could disinfect your wood shavings so you could not you it will not be able for you to transfer any pathogen any infection from the wood shaving to the day old chicks now aside that if you're the old type that uses the wrist cage after you sterilize you're good to go now the next thing you have to look into what type of feeder am i using or the drinkers if there are no new ones you have to wash properly after washing you sun dry at times you could after washing with your detergent you use your salt water to sterilize you soak for like 10 to 15 minutes in the salt in the salt water in your saline water then after soaking you sun dry because the presence of sun kills so many lots of bacteria so you sun dry for at least six hours you can now pack into your pen now i'll be telling you another secret of what to do to boost the immune of those day old chicks now after i've done the sterilization you can now stop but before you stop there is one important thing you have to look into which is what they call artificial heating system which is the brooding itself now those day old chicks you know normally they are not with their parents and um, you've already taken them out from the brooder from the hatchery house you are to provide for them the heat that will make them comfortable now there is the maximum or should i say there is a given temperature body temperature you're supposed to give them which is 32 degrees but most farmers these days they just use their IQ to say okay some will say when they're clutching together the environment is cold when they're playing and they're moving around yeah it's good but you have to be professional you have to get these things right because my body temperature now my body heat my differ I might be coming from a far place into my pen and my body must have been heated up so when I come into the pen I'll say ah open 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 the place is heat without knowing that those beds they're even suffering from cold so for you to be a professional this is what i call temperature you can get it from your jumia from your conga online or any animal care shop now if you see it is within 32.1 degrees even if though i am outside so in this kind of temperature you just don't need even once you cover your brooding house with your tarpaulin your nylon black nylon i would advise use black because black retains heat once you cover some few places and um it gets to 30 okay it's even 32.1 so you don't even need to cover all you need to do is to what open yes they are day old but you don't need to put the heat because this already has given you the accuracy of what you need to do secondly when you have this temperature you see it's fluctuating it's not 32.0 formerly it was 32.1 so this is the accurate guide for you when you have this you don't place it up no you place it at the floor level because in your room the floor level it's usually colder than the upper level because 
the heat rises. So if you're hang hanging this at the chest level or head height, you will not get the exact degree you're supposed to. So if you're a farmer and all this, why you're not using this, you're getting it out wrongly. And in the next video, I will tell you why you need this and how this will promote your food conversion ratio. Yes, your bet might not be converting well because you're not hitting at that 32 point. 32.5 is okay. 33 at most, at worst scenario. So you should leave it at 31.5 to 32.5. So in between that two, their body can correlate to regulate it. So that is what you're supposed to do. So after all this, now that comes to what will I give my birds? Some of you bring in the birds and you just go directly and give them any water because it's a bit. No, 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 no. You don't just give them any hot water. Mind you, those birds has no antibodies. You're the one to build them. So these are the little mistakes we do from day old that will, act, that will seriously, seriously speak on our result at the end of the brooding stage. In fact, from day old, these little mistakes you do will speak for you on the 42 day, which is on the day 42, which is the sixth week. Because professionally, what you're supposed to do these broilers are for six weeks and you achieve your sole aim of doing them, which is to meet a particular weight from 2.2 kg, 3 to 3 kg, which is the professional level you're required to achieve. Now, what most people don't know is the importance of scale. In the next video, I'll be showing a small digital scale you could use because at those beds at arrival, you're supposed to scale them to know how to start tackling their weight because from harshly the weight they give to you when they arrive to your pen speaks a lot that is when you are to know how you are to tackle them from starting from your super starter to your starter or i should give starter a loan to grower to finisher or i should give super starter to starter to finisher so that day old weight matters so if you're a farmer you don't have your temperature guide you don't have your skill. I wonder how you want to achieve professional results. At the end of the day, you spend more. And you keep working, working, working without result. So thank you for watching. This is Risto Farms Aquaponics, the heart of perfect farming. I will continue the lecture in the next video. If you've not subscribed, please do so. Go to the notification bell, click, and um, you keep getting free lectures that will help you help your business. Farming is a serious business. I can tell you, farming is the future. Thanks for watching. God bless.